What's up, guys? Welcome to the Ant Man channel. It is, um, you know, <coughs> it is Friday, the 31st of May, 2013. I'm sure you're doing very well, and if not, then God bless you. Hopefully, you do do well today. Hopefully, your life is abundantly blessed with goodness and happiness and joy and peace. And if you don't like that, then you can leave my channel because I don't like people like you. I'm actually your enemy. You're my enemy. But then again, I'm told to love my enemies too. You see, you could like, you know, pretty much say, ha ha, you like to be a good guy. But you know, there's more reward in, 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 in serving uh, justice and being righteous than there is in being a sellout. And being someone who doesn't, you know, care about nothing but at the same time pretends to portray himself as someone who does by going to Bible study or whatever, you know, that's not going to save you. There's only one thing that's going to save you, and that's Jesus Christ. And uh, if you don't like that, you can leave my channel. I'm not talking to you then. I mean, you could take it or leave it. I mean, you don't accept, it's not that you don't accept me, it's that you don't accept God. And, you know, um, there is hope in the world. And, you know, you don't have to be this robot, like all the gangbangers out there that are robots that, that pretend they don't have emotions and that they don't feel anything. And I mean, our humanity is going down the tubes. You could see it through uh, the fluoride, actually. The fluoride is actually put there for you to be sterilized and feminized. It actually does do that to your body. Why don't you look it up? Uh, people don't just regurgitate this because it's some kind of conspiracy theory and it's ridiculous, but it's because it's true. It's all, there's all, you know, a, a gigantic blueprint to why they do all of this stuff. And to, to you guys that can't put one and one together, this might seem like absolutely, um, you know, crazy or you can't understand it because you're just a pea brain and you've probably been eating GMO for too long. But anyways, all you other guys that accept the Lord and you guys accept goodness in your life and you want to be for the righteous cause of the world, then welcome to the Ant-Man channel, man. Um, I'm going to read this uh, article right here in front of me. Obama to Muslims. Tell me what you want. Outreach summits launched. First stop Chicago. This is by Steve Peacock. Um, yeah, you know, the government doesn't even treat us like humans anymore. It's, you know, it's uh, the U.S. There's a guy here holding up a sign that says, U.S. humiliates humans. People will rise and defend. Yeah, you know, um, I don't know, man. People are so conditioned to cower in fear, man. It's just sad. Anyways, a series of Muslim outreach summits are planned coast to coast by the Obama administration to get feedback from Muslims on how the government can better serve them in their specific desires, like bullying us, all the good law-abiding citizens and all the Christians, because um, obviously we're not the ones that, you know, bend over to all this. The president's adopted hometown of Chicago will be the first stop. WND initially discovered documents referring to the Muslim summits while examining a U.S. Department of Education proceed procurement of data gathering, uh, data gathering and report writing services. Their services are specific to information, information being assembled by the White House Initiative on Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders on, or WHIAAPI, which Obama created via executive order in 2009. Nobody has passed more executive orders than Obama. I mean, he has quadrupled, probably even more, probably... I don't even know the word for it, how many FDR, I think, had the record before Obama. And he only signed, like, three executive orders. Now look at what Obama does. He creates a new government program every day. It's like, the guy's out of control, man. How did, I don't know how people could let this guy get away with so much. I mean, it just shows how uh, morally bankrupt everyone is. How you just lay down and, and, and worship tyranny and corruption, and you just let it get away with everything because, hey, man, it's, none of my, it's not my problem. I'm Pontius Pilate, bro. It's not my problem. I just wash my hands and continue on my day because I'm selfish and I don't care about nobody. But at the same time, I'm going to go to Bible study and I'm going to go to church because I want people to look at me like I give a shit. Excuse my language. But you know me. I, I tell you the truth and I don't, I don't water it down for you. So, um, Upon closer inspection, however, WND learned that the Education Department explicitly will direct the selected contractor to chronicle findings and recommendations gleaned from the Muslim Outreach Summit. The White House views this year's reven uh, venues as an extension of a pre uh, previous outreach to new immigrants and refugees, some of the most undeserved in the AAPI community, according to a document titled WHIAAPI 2013 Faith-Based and Community Engagement. Complementing the prior effort will be the three regional uh, convenings 
tentatively scheduled June 15th in Chicago, June 22nd in San Francisco, and June 29th in New York City. These cities are main AAPI immigrant hubs and entry points for new immigrants, refugees. According to a related document, questions received from vendors uh, development and preparation of the AAPI annual report to the president. Anyways, let me, let me just add this right now. You notice that, you know, there's programs out there by certain people like Rabbi Yekio Eckstein, a guy that I love to read his devo devotionals every day. The guy's brilliant. Um, you know, he has a great ministry, man. There's one called uh, On Eagle's Wings, I believe, that he gets... It, uh, Jews from all over the world and flies them back to Israel and then you have I mean it's just ridiculous how you see the empowered people the people that actually you know read the word of God and they're empowered and they believe in themselves and they they have courage and they have bravery they're strong because of the Lord they want to go back to their house they want to go back to where their land is and they want to you know they want to build there but then you see all these immigrants from all these countries that are, you know, in the same shape as Israel. Israel's constantly at war. Uh, Mexico's the same way. They're ran by drug cartels that the American government helps, you know, uh, supply their, their whatever it is that they do. Like selling cocaine on the street, giving guns to all the gangbangers that, that want to worship uh, weaklings. And, and, and yeah, you're a weakling. Yeah, you are, man. You like to ball your chest and act tough? You're weak. Okay? You don't see anybody that actually is strong walking around bowing up to people. As a matter of fact, the toughest guys in the world are in the UFC, in my opinion. And those guys don't walk around bowing their chest out and intimidating people, man. They're like the nicest people on earth. So you see the mentality of a person who's a really strong, encouraged, empowered person next to a person who's a little weak pencil neck on the inside and has to bulk up and lift weights every day and be like, you know... Everyone thinks that lifting weights makes them tough, man. I mean, there are different aspects to fighting than just lifting weights. Anyways, before I get on my, you know, my rants, man. There's just so much ignorance in the world, I love to expose it, you know. And, and it's not because I want to hurt your feelings, man. It's because I want to help you, you know. Nobody's telling you the truth. If you have real friends, they're the ones that don't care what you think. My friends don't care what I think. We all have a great... Uh, I think me and my friends, you know, are, are better off than most cliques, if you, want, if you will, because... We don't care what one another thinks. We speak out for what we want and what we need and what we believe in, man. And uh, and that's the kind of friends that you should be looking for. You shouldn't be looking for people who just want to uh, uh, entertain mediocrity with you all day. What do you What do you learn from that? You know, what do you What do you do with your life? Going in circles with these people that just talk of gossip behind other people's backs. They probably gossip behind your back too, as well. You know, it's, it's, it takes one to know one actually, because I know. Uh, I used to be the type of person that ran to other people for my problems. Now I run to God because I know better. But, uh, you know, I don't know, man. There's just so much ignorance nowadays. Each convening with sick included panel discussions, workshops with federal officials on key issues impacting the community and also an open dialogue session to hear directly from the community about issues of concern. One vendor submitted a question to the Education Department asking, is there separate author authorizing legislation for the Muslim Outreach Summits, or is it included in the AAPI EO executive order? The department in response acknowledged that separate authorizing legislation does not exist. Rather, it says that Obama crafted the initiative solely through executive order, which it justified because the endeavor's goal is to improve the quality of life of AAPIs through increased participation in federal programs which in which AAPIs may be undeserved. Well, if you've ever read Obamacare and you know what's going on, they're trying to get rid of the middle class. They want us all poor and government dependent. Uh, all these immigrants, why do you think they're let, uh, why do you think amnesty is a big issue right now? Because Obama knows that if he lets the immigrants get in, they're going to vote for him. Because he's giving you free things. And I don't think that they're educated enough to know that there is no such thing as a free meal. There is no such thing as a free ride. This all comes back to you. All of it. They want you government independent so that they can absolutely put you into slavery, man. It, I mean, um, what difference does it make if you're in a FEMA camp? You're already a slave if you're de dependent on the government or you're, you're pretty much, you know, um, buying all the propaganda, watching Fox News, all of this, go to work, wake up, go to work, buy toys and go to sleep, go to work. All of that is slavery, man. They're not, su you're not supposed to have this. I even hear women nowadays saying, like, if you ain't got a job, you messing up. You know what I mean? It's like, what, who are you to pass judgment on me, woman? You don't, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, a misogynist or whatever you want to call that, but I, I mean, I, I, I like uh, real equality, not, not this entitlement of, 
oh, I'm black, oh, I'm a woman, oh, I'm this, oh, I'm that. No, I'm saying equality, like, you know, like, you shouldn't be talking to anyone in that. Why don't you, it's like Jesus said, why, are you, why do you see the thorn in your brother's eye when you do not even acknowledge the beam that's in your own eye? That is the direct quote from Jesus Christ, my friend. Um, but that, but, uh, you know, it's all this, like, where I live in California, Southern California, that's the way women are. They're so lush, you know. Take me out to the club. You know, spend money on me. I want VIP. I want bottle service. It's like, you're so shallow. that this, We don't even have the opportunity to really even engage in a conversation and even connect because you just want to go out and get drunk and just dance all day. You, you know, we can just, you know, probably go, you know, uh, smoke a bowl. I don't know what you do, but, you know, uh, I'm not saying I recommend that to you guys, but I'm just saying, like, why don't we just go out, have a drink maybe, a little drink, and just go watch a movie and hang out at the park? But nobody likes to do that anymore. It's all about, where's your money at? Where's your credit card bill at? Where? It's like, you know, like, it's so materialistic these days. You can't even find a good, uh, honest woman. And plus, by the way, most women I see don't like honest men. They like playing games and lying and being lied to and playing games. And it's all a circle of perpetual bullshit. And excuse my language, but you know that, I, that I'm talking sense right now. The vendor question document further states that Obama's faith-based outreach summits will help the government to provide federal resources to undeserved a APIs while, un uh, while determining their ongoing needs. When Obama signed the executive order October 14, 2009, he also launched a separate president's advisory commission on a API as well as a federal interagency working uh, group. The groups worked collaboratively with the White House Office of Public Engagement and federal agencies to increase Asian American and Pacific Islander participation. The initiative seeks to highlight both the temp uh, tremendous unmet needs in the Asian American and Pacific Islander communities as well as the dynamic community asset assets that can be leveraged to meet many other many of those needs. I mean, I'm not surprised, you know, most Asians are very productive, they're very smart, they actually have honor and dignity. In, it hopes to address the needs of those communities by increasing participation in a broad swath of programs such as those involving art, business, education, environmental, and justice programs. By the way, I'm not favoring Asians. There is ignorance on all levels in this world. I even know uh, certain Asians that think they're black and act black and talk black. And it's so, it's because they're all engaged in that MTV lifestyle. They're all, they're all into that trendy bull crap that doesn't even, it doesn't fulfill you. It's just the front, man. It's just, I'm cool. I'm with it. You know, like, wh who cares, dude? Like, you're the only one who really cares. Like, nobody really even cares, dude. Like, who, who are you trying to impress? Nobody. Nobody really cares about that, you know? On the inside, nobody really cares, but you have to put out this front, man. And it just shows that you have no substance. You don't ever think for once in your life. You probably watch so much TV, your brain doesn't even work that well anymore. Your brain activity slowed down to the point where you don't even have any consciousness to even put together any type of, you know, sentences of your own. You got to take everything from a movie. Like, I heard this from a movie. So, you know, sometime after the three Muslim outreach summits, the chosen contractor will develop and then present its summary report to the president and a newly appointed WIAAPI commissioners. The contracting action, the first of its kind since its inception in 2008, will help lay the foundation for the initiative's future work, the document says. You know, if you read WND on a, on a normal basis, that these guys are on the level, son. They're telling you the truth. They're real journalists. They just tell you what they see. You know what I mean? Like in the book of Proverbs, I believe, someone correct me if I'm wrong, it says that I can only uh, say what I have saw. Or that's Peter, actually, in a, an Acts or something. Somebody help me with that. But yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're convicted by the Holy Spirit to be righteous and tell the truth, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I could go on and on about this, but I'll just end this. Push the subscribe button, like, uh, like whatever, and just come watch my videos, man. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. I'm better than uh, NBC uh, propaganda. Peace out.